Okay, welcome back. Uh, this is example 3.10.1 from page 149 of the Duffy and Beck Beckman te uh, text. Um, and in this problem, um, we have uh, two parallel plates, um, an absorber plate and a cover. So this is a, a cover absorber system. And this could be um, like a solar uh, hot water heater or an air uh, solar heater. Um, and uh, these two plates are um, 25 millimeters apart. <clears throat> and uh, some of the properties um, of each surface for the plate. The emissivity, uh, or epsilon, is equal to 0 0.15. Um, and the temperature of the plate is 70 degrees Celsius, which um, we need to convert to Kelvin. So 70 plus 273 is 343 Kelvin. Um, And the cover similarly has uh, an emissivity. Uh, the cover is 0 0.88. And the temperature of the cover is a little bit cooler at 50 degrees Celsius, which converting that to um, Kelvin, you get 323 Kelvin. <coughs> Um, so in this problem with this system, as defined above, we're asked to find uh, two things. First, we're asked to find the um, radiation exchange um, between the two surfaces. Um, and in this case, um, intuitively, it's helpful to think which direction the heat will flow. That way you don't have some weird negative sign you're trying to deal with in the end. Um, heat, the heat flows from the hotter uh, surface to the cooler surface. And then second, we're asked to find the uh, radiation heat exchange coefficient under these con conditions. So uh, with all of that in mind, uh, let's go ahead and solve the problem. So <clears throat> Part A, um, to solve the amount of radiation heat exchange um, going on, we're going to use equation um, 3.8.4 from the text. Um, and we solve this on a per unit area basis because uh, the size of the collector is not given, and so we solve it per meter squared, um, which then if you had a, say, three meter squared collector, you would basically multiply this answer by three to obtain your um, final total um, heat exchange. So here's the Stefan Boltzmann constant sigma in this heat exchange equation. And then again, on the hot, we go. We use the hotter um, surface first, so that we have a good sign convention. The temperature of that surface, 343 minus uh, 323, the temperature of the cooler surface, um, all divided by the, the uh, emissivities. So 1 over 0.15 plus 1 over 0.88 minus 1, all in the denominator. And um, Stefan Boltzmann constant is 5.67 times 10 to the negative 8. Which if you've had a heat transfer class, you'll remember that number. It's pretty easy. 5678. 5.67 times 10 to the negative 8. Um, and when you run those numbers through your calculator, you get 24.6 watts per meter squared. Um, so that's from absorber <clears throat> to 
to the cover. Cool. And then uh, part B of this problem says under these conditions, what's the radiation heat exchange coefficient? So here we're going to use equation 3.10.1 which is the, the definition of uh, h sub r, the uh, heat exchange coefficient. So h sub r equals this uh, heat exchange we calculated in part a, 24.6, divided by the temperature difference, 70 minus 50. And you could do this in Kelvin or Celsius in the denominator. Um, it, you would get the same number. Um, and so what you end up with is 1.232 watts per meter squared Kelvin. Uh, and that's that. That's example 3.10.1. Thank you for listening.